told myself I wasn't gonna do another roof shave video. I mean, I've done them all. I mean, how different could they be? But Ultrafold sent me one. I didn't ask for it, they sent it to me. And you know, I thought I'd check it out. All these are made the same, right? You know, there's been some evolution over the last couple of years, you know, they started out as one piece and then they split into two pieces, right? That was better. You know, when I got this from Ultrafold, it looked like every other roof shade. I mean, this is also a two piece roof shade, you know, it just, you know, pops open like this. You know, they've improved also in the fact that they've changed the material. This material is light matches the color of the Tesla interior. It's reflective, it holds the light out. You know, I've done, again, I've done that before, right? Well, you might be asking, you know, they all go together the same, you know, they've got clips like this. Well, this one doesn't have clips like this. Well, hmm, right, they improved. They came out with ones with clear clips, right? These are better. How can this roof shade be any different? Well. It is because this roof shade from Ultrafold does something that no other roof shade has done up to this point. And for a value roof shade that you can easily take in and out, this one does it with these magnets. The clips have been replaced with clip magnets and that's what sets this roof shade apart. And that's what kind of takes this roof shade to the next level because fighting these clips, in trying to get it up and secured is the biggest headache of having a roof shade in your Tesla. And these magnets, once installed in your car, can stay in your car and installing and removing the roof shade is as simple as just putting it up and pulling it down. Let me show you how this goes together and just how easy it is and we'll swing back with my final thoughts. Okay, let's get this roof shade installed real quick and the first step of the process is installing six of these magnetic clips. So these magnetic clips go in the front, the back, and two on each side for both sections of the front and the back. If you need a pry tool, it comes with a pry tool, but you just basically need to snap these in up in the top headliner and make sure that there is a logo up here is pointing up to the glass and the magnet down here is pointing down, which is what the shade's gonna attach to. So let's get those snapped in. Okay, all the clips are installed. Took a little finagling. The right side of my car is a little gaps at the glass that are a little bigger than they are on the driver's side. I had to work those a little bit, but the clips are in. You can actually see them here on camera and that's what you have when you don't want the shade actually installed. And when they aren't there, I doubt anybody will really recognize that they're there. So the next step is just putting up the shade. Now each section comes in a half. And if you see my other shade videos, these work exactly the same. There's a shiny side, there is a non-shiny side and there's a tag that says rear this side up. Obviously that'll go in the rear. And there's another one here that says front this side up. So try to do the best I can and not knock myself out when I open this thing up. Okay, so it's up. It's just a matter of sliding it up. it onto the magnets. Look at that, you're done. Let's do the back. Here's the back. It says rear, this side up. This goes toward the back. Magnets grab. Just wanna make sure the seam looks okay. Look at that, you're done. This has never been an easier roof shade installation than this right here. And you know what? Getting them down is just as simple. Just pull and you're done. The last thing I wanted to show you is it is noon on a bright sunny day and I wanted to show you how much you could actually see through this. And I can tell you that looking directly at the sun, moving my head around, I can see a little bit of a shimmer, but for the most part, actually not for the most part, entirely this blocks 100% of the sun. It's a nice light color, it looks really good. And if you wanna use it as a privacy shade during camping, it will do just fine there too. 
So as you can see, this roof shade really kind of takes these budget roof shades to the next level. Now, as far as price is concerned, this one is kind of right there in that competitive spot with all of the budget-based roof shades with manual clips. The magnetic clips really don't add any of the cost. And this thing is hot off the presses, available for sale this week. And you can find a link below on Amazon where you can pick up one of your own. And that link in the description below will save you 10% on your order. Every time I get one of these roof shades from a vendor, I tell myself this is the last one I'm going to do because I can't get any better. And they continue to surprise me and the folks at Ultrafold surprised me this time with what became what I consider an unbelievably obvious answer to the problem of putting this up and down magnets. I mean, the Tesla uses magnets all over the place. In fact, what you use probably on a daily basis, the sunshade is held on with magnets where in old traditional cars, they were held on with clips. So the inspiration was there all along. So if this is right for you, swing down to the description below, pick up one of your own to save 10%. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd appreciate you tapping that like button. And if you're new to the channel, subscriptions are always welcome. And if you're looking to pick up a Tesla, and I would highly recommend it, make sure you use a referral link because Tesla is always changing the rewards and things that it gives new buyers when using a referral link. Now, if you want to use my referral link, that'll be great. It's in the link in the description below. But if you want to use any referral link, that's fine too. Thanks so much for watching. And we'll catch you on the next video.